everyone. This is Miss G at Crafting Etc. Uh, today we're going to do a simple project. Uh, my grand girl asked me about making a cuff to hold her cell phone while she works out. So I visited a lot of YouTubes and saw a lot of way, different ways to do it. So this is my version of how to transform a sock into a running uh, cuff to put your uh, cell phone or your uh, iPod. Pet, uh, iPod in to listen to your music while you work out. All you're going to need is some uh, a sock, an athletic sock, stretchy. And I'm going to show you, you're going to need duct tape, scissors, and a piece of cardboard. And a cell phone to measure. Okay, I'm going to pan over here so we can see what we have to work with. Okay, and I'm going to uh, make it just a little bit closer so you can see my hand ties that. Yeah, there you go. And the sock. And the measurements. Again, I'm just practicing my second YouTube. And I'm hoping that it'll work. Uh, so my grand girl will have a workout uh, cuff to put her cell phone in while she works out on, the, uh, on her running machine. Okay, or her exercising bike. Here we go. I'll put the, what you need on the on the description side of YouTube when I finish um, when I finish this. Right now, you need a pair of scissors. You need a sock. I chose a black sock. You need some duct tape because I'm gonna put a little spin on the basic sock uh, cuff. And I have the cover for the cell phone that she's going to use because you know young people can't do without their cell phone. And I have a five inch wide piece of cardboard that I'm going to need to stretch the uh, cup on uh, once I cut, cut the needed parts, uh, once I cut the toe off of it. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to measure. Can you see it? This is your sock. You're going to take your cell phone. You're going to here. Let me give you a little more close up there. And then you're going to put it to the toe. You're going to fold it back this way to get a good measurement. So you know exactly where you're going to have to cut off at. So I'm trying to give you a better, um, a better look at this so you will see it. There you go. All right. So I measured here. And then I turned it over to measure with the toe where I'm going to cut it off at. Okay, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it. And always make sure your scissors are sharp. I hate to get up and watch you two. They have the dull scissors. Always use scissors just for you use a cutting material, not cardboard. Okay, I cut the little toe off. Roscoe, get off my, excuse me, I'm sorry. I got Mr. Roscoe up under me. All right, I'm going to move this. Now I'm going to get my cardboard, which again is about five inches wide. I'm going to stretch my sock onto the cardboard. Like so. All right. And the reason I'm doing this is that I want to give a little design to this cuff. But I want to make sure it still stretches once I put the uh, design. Now the design I'm going to use is on the duct tape. And it's a little, she's a girl, so I think a little tiger, a leopard, uh, not a leopard, but zebra would look nice, zebra print. So I stretch it onto this cardboard right here. And what I noticed about some of the YouTubes is that everybody seemed to struggle trying to slide it in. So I thought maybe even when I get a little decorative with the duct tape, I'll fold some of it in so it'll be easy to slip in without, you know, struggle. So we're going to see how that works, okay? So we're going to pull our duct tape to right down the center, if you can find the center. Of your sock okay and we're gonna stretch it down here we're gonna pat it let's pat it and we're gonna cut off a little because we're gonna fold some on the inside okay cut it off and we're gonna pat it we're gonna make sure it's still stretching but we're gonna pat it and then we're gonna turn this in and pat it down just a little more there you go and we're going to bring this down some because we want to make sure that everything still stretches. Yeah, everything still stretches. And then, keeping it centered, 
we're gonna tuck the duct tape in here as well. Okay, we're tucking it in like so. Okay, let's stretch it. So now it should be pretty well stretched. People use duct tape for everything. I figure like a nice design would be fine on this. We're gonna take it off the cardboard. Uh huh. That looks pretty. Can you see that? Now we're going to try it on. Now, in order to try it on, you have to turn it on the wrong side, like this. Okay, you turn on the wrong side. And I would suggest you slide it up the toe end up first. You slide it up your arm. Let's see if I can get a, a better vision of this sliding up my arm. Turn. Okay, you're going to slide up your arm. I have a sweater on, but I'm going to slide it up my arm like so to where I want my cell phone to be. All the way up. Again, this is supposed to be a snug fit so it won't move once you make your cup. Okay. Up my arm. Okay, I'll go. Let's see. Yeah, it's up the arm. Now you're going to cup it. You're going to bring this up like so. And up all the way around. Let's see if we can get a close up of that. And there you go. Up all the way around. Up. Up. And now we're making our cuff. Okay. Use this on the outside of the arm, so that should be like there. Get excuse my sweater. All right. Then once you do that. Now you're going to stick your cell phone in. So you move it down a little bit like so. And I'm just going to... Remember, this is the case, but this is the size cell phone my grand girl has. You're going to push it in there like that. And then you're going to pull it up like that. And now we have a great cell phone workout. Let me see if I can get you a better close-up. There you go. Now the cell phone is in there. And you're all set. So that's my take on making a cell phone cuff for running out of a sock with a little more snap to it. So hopefully this tutorial was helpful to you. The sock works great. Saves you lots of money. But uh, a little design using duct tape was very, very stylish. So I'm sure my grand girl would love this once I you know, get this to her. Again, I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please uh, hit my like button or thumbs up on my, on my YouTube video. As well as give me a comment also to see if, you know, if you've tried this. And if, when you do try it, I would love it if you send a picture to Miss G. I'm sorry, if you send a picture to uh, Facebook slash Miss G Crafting, etc. And I would love to see how you came out with styling up your cuff. For your running uh holding your ipod again thank you and don't forget to put a like button up there on my youtube have a great day goodbye